Well, we are at the entrance to Stewart Beach, the main entrance, and when you come to a public beach entrance like this, you are likely to see signs like these, the beach warning flags, what they all mean, as well as the danger of rip currents and some tips for what to do if you do get caught in one. But what we've learned is you will likely not see signs like this at a private beach access point. The ocean is a dangerous, a dangerous place. Sydney Lene was surfing at Stewart Beach Thursday when she saw the tragedy on the water. All of the lifeguards started coming out and they were waving and stuff. It was like scary to see all that stuff happen. Two people caught in a rip current and pulled from the water, but it was too late. I cannot imagine them being able to see the flags from there. The family was staying at a condo with private beach access. That put them hundreds of yards away from the nearest lifeguard tower, flying a red flag for dangerous conditions. Our lifeguards did spot those individuals go in the water uh, before the 911 call came in. Um, and as they were responding to the area to, uh, to check on those individuals, uh, that's when the 911 call came in and it, from there it progressed. Martin County Ocean Rescue Chief Ian Mojula says these current rough conditions are unusual for this time of year and may catch locals and tourists off guard. He says that's why it's so important to swim at a guarded beach. Things can happen really rapidly uh, in a situation like that. You know, June is one of those months that you don't necessarily see conditions like this, so it is it is pretty rare. According to Florida law, the state's warning flag program is open to any government with jurisdiction over a public beach along the coast, regardless of whether it has lifeguards. But it's not required. Florida law also says because of constantly changing conditions, the state, state agencies, local and regional government entities or authorities shall not be held liable for any injury or loss of life. These Florida natives say they'd like to see more safety warnings and they're taking their own. Yeah, yesterday it really shook me up seeing their bodies getting dragged out of the water. So I put a whistle on my surfboard. Just, it may not do much, but it's something. It could get someone's attention. Having the flags like stretch down the end of the beach, like it would just be safer for everybody. So we wouldn't have this happen again, you know? And I've also learned that these signs in particular are distributed through the Florida Department of Environmental Protection. State and local governments can request them, but they must be placed in public access points.